houses, ice shacks, camps, no matter what you call them, these iconic huts are a part of New Hampshire's winter landscape. Ice in to ice out, diehard fishermen and those who just have a love for the great outdoors bundle up and set out with hooks and augers to bring in all sorts of species. Pull them up then, get them on the ice. Oh my gosh, I told you it was huge. You know, just the thrill of, of watching that flag go up and, and reeling in and not knowing what's at the end of that line. It could be, you know, something from a small perch just eating your bait to, you know, a giant rainbow. No two bob houses are exactly the same, and some granite staters go to great lengths to make sure they have the comforts of home on the ice. Come on in. So, um, I have a wood stove down here. I don't know, just being out here, it's like, it's like being removed almost, you know? It's uh, just, just something about it, you know? I mean, uh, I encourage everyone to get out there and, and, and do it. So this one went a little over the top. Uh, it sleeps, uh, the past couple weekends, we've been sleeping five people in it. Uh, it has a electric fireplace, a TV, a uh, full kitchen, a uh, gas range, oven, uh, microwave, fridge, running water. Uh, it has a bathroom as well, a little porta potty. You know, it's just kind of camping out, hanging out, standing around the fire and, you know, sharing stories with people. It's a good time. It's a very friendly bunch of people. As you can see, some of these Granite State Bob houses are more like tiny houses on ice. It's got, a, you know, our bed. Um, we can also fish out of it. We do have um, holes that you can fish out, which are underneath the bed. Uh, we have a wood stove. And then there's always the view. I like getting out there nice and early, catching the sunrise, um, get some lines in the water, and then we have a little propane grill out there and a burner stove, so I cook up some coffee and breakfast out there, and uh, then when it warms up, we can sit outside and enjoy the, enjoy the sunshine. You know, early in the year, we were ice skating, and uh, now it's, you know, there's snow on the ice, so it's uh, cross-country skiing where, um, you know, and a little bit of fishing. So we all do the derby circuit. So we jump all over the state. We do a lot of cooking in our bob houses. Um, so we're all set up with the stoves and the wood stoves and the beds and the TVs. It's just a way to get away from the pressure of home and work and just get out there on the ice and leave everything behind. Don't want to build your own bob house? Rick Strott at Hanson Precision in Tamworth has you covered. They started making ice shacks for personal use, but when people saw them out on the ice, it became part of the business. The roofs are clear, so you get solar solar heat through them, right? So just last Sunday, the one that's out in front of my house on Lake Ossipee, um, uh, it was like four degrees outside, but the sunshine had warmed it up to about 80 inside. It's welded in a fashion to make sure that, you know, it, it is considerable strength. The last four, just about ever. Fishing year round has become a passion and a business for New Hampshire native and YouTuber Todd Grubb. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. I just caught a Phoebe, uh, my first ever pike through the ice. I can't even believe it. Oh my God. Grubs channel, Fishing Grubs with a Z, has over 5,000 subscribers. When I'm on the water, no, I don't no, care no, if it's frozen or if it's, you know, 10 foot seas, I'm pumped. See if we can't catch us some fish. Todd puts out a new video every weekday, a grind he yeah. says is worth it since it means he can do what he loves. I love filming yes. and like editing, but I also love fishing. So I was like, maybe I should just document like my progression as a fisherman. And so I pretty much started my channel like 
right when I started fishing. Todd fishes all over New England, spending a lot of time in New Hampshire. But like any good fisherman, he doesn't give up his spots. Like, unless you're fishing like Winnipesaukee or something like that, I don't, I never say the name of the place. Like ever, that's just like one of those things. Uh, especially cause like some places are like handed down to you, if you know what I mean. Todd hopes his viewers learn from his videos and also start to see that fishing is pretty cool. I mean, one of the reasons why I started the channel in the first place is to show people, you know, a progression. Like, if you start something and you love it and you put a lot into it, you never know, you know, where it could end up. That's something I want people to see is like fishing is like, fishing is dope. You know, like it, it can be really cool. Look at the size of this white perch. It's unbelievable.